Okay guys, just did a little bit of hitting on the wall because I know I'm not gonna work out later today. I'm having some people over to go in the hot tub and grill. So let's go get the stuff for that from the store. Good morning guys. I feel like I've already lived a whole day. It's Saturday and I woke up at 7 a.m. to finish editing my video. Started to get it uploading but it's taken actually like four hours for it to upload. But I played a little tennis, just a little bit. Just got a little workout in, a little movement. Cleaned my whole place except for my room and got a bunch of stuff from Trader Joe's to grill today. I got enough food for eight people for like $120 which I feel like is really good. That includes three bottles of wine, too. In this economy, not bad. So, first we got the wine lineup. Rosé. Trader Joe's has Prosecco now. So that's for Sam's Aperol Spritz. Hamburger meat. Bunch of veggies. And then just, I also got crackers and goat cheese. We're stocked. We're stocked, really. <laughs> Good morning guys, happy Sunday. If I look tired, it's because I am. No, I actually feel pretty good considering yesterday's, yesterday's fun time. And so now I have to clean up this mess. And I don't think I've ever seen my kitchen so messy. This bunt cake was amazing, so delicious. Meat in here. Ew. Why is there what? Why is there meat in here? Meat? Yeah. No, that's the cake. Oh, gross. <laughs> Ta-da! Cleaned. I'm not sure if I want to have some more of this cake. Doing a little city tennis today. I've never actually gone on the weekend, but on Sundays they have a bunch of classes. It's in Culver City, so I just drove over here. And yeah, I've come to this class a bunch of times. City tennis is so fun. I feel like this one is particularly always a really good workout, especially if not a lot of people sign up. So like, if there's only four people there, you're working hard. And sometimes there's like eight to 10, um, but still they'll kind of adjust it so that you're getting a good amount of running in. talk about some movement that was some good movement today you guys we we did it it was so fun i'm always like oh, what it's already class is already over what that post tennis hot tub sesh and sam was making us burgers Good morning, everybody. Actually, it's not even the morning. It's like 2 p.m., but it's President's Day. I've just been editing all day the dry bar video. It's super rainy out, so me and Sam have just been here like working on our computers, basically. Yeah, I don't know what it is about it being rainy in LA. It feels like a sick day. Like, it feels like everyone is just hibernating. One day, a couple weeks ago when it was rainy, I tried to go work out of a coffee shop and a lot of them were closed. I was like, people just like, like, it's so dramatic. It's just rain, it's not snow. Like you can leave your house, but I swear people just don't. Guys, check out this thumbnail I just finished making. I actually used AI to put the blow dryer in her hand. This is what the photo was originally like. And I just feel like that fits better to show like what, you know, the company is. And funny enough, now I need to blow out my hair. <laughs> getting ready to film a um, commentary video. In this one, we're talking about the child-free movement. I have a feeling this one's gonna be kind of controversial, but honestly, aren't they all? Like, all the commentary videos are low-key, like, a little, not controversial, really, 
but it kind of feels like, you know, a touchy subject. But I have many thoughts on the topic. As someone who is 29, so like, you know, the age where maybe you want to have kids, but I really don't. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that in the video. Okay, I'm ready to film. I have all my stats written out, everything ready to go. Some like TikToks that I'm gonna note for it. There's like a release plate for my Ronin stuck. I can't not get it off. I need to go get a screwdriver. So this is my makeshift tripod because I don't have time to go do that right now. And let's record. And this first study is on people who have never had kids on how likely they are to have them at all. And what we can find from this study is that about half of all people think that they will have kids. So 26% say they're very likely to have kids. 29% say they're somewhat likely. And then a little less than half say that they're not too you likely okay i just finished recording it was kind of long i'm kind of feeling I'm going to a coffee shop to edit this one sounds kind of nice um because i want to go on a little walk it's finally nice out again so maybe i'll do that if you guys have any personal experience with that comment down below if you know maybe i could use it in the main channel video but yeah if you're someone who's child free and you're happy about it or you later regretted it or you don't regret it whatever whatever your thoughts are comment comment it down below would love to read it it's a growing trend less people are having kids good morning guys happy friday i have been studying real estate stuff for the past like hour and a half got some good studying in but now let's go get a workout in i have a hat on so you know what that means we're we're doing an outside workout against a hitting wall so let's go found a fun way to practice volley shots. You get closer to the hitting wall, hit it really hard, and then the next one, you can volley. Quick change of plans. My eyebrows are driving me insane. I'm gonna quickly go try and get them done. Do you see how unruly? They're just, they need to be maintained. So let's just go get those done real quick. Since it is Friday and the dry bar video is going up tomorrow, I'm doing last little finishing touches on the video. The brand that is in it has approved it, so it's good to go. I have the thumbnail done, but there's just some last little like audio things, little like music, things I just wanna make sure we're good. So that is like my main thing I need to do today. And then I have all these other little things. We already got my workout in though. So we, did, we studied some real estate, we got some workout up in. Okay, we've got this good to go live tomorrow. It's all done. It's scheduled to be going live and everything. So I'm feeling good. I do want to make a short form cut of it to post on Instagram though. So let me just start that. See if I have time to get rid of stuff. I've been meaning to go to the Goodwill because I'm just like, I have too much crap. I'm getting stressed every day by, by stuff. I just want to get rid of it, you know? 100%. I mean, if you don't like getting up in Spend the morning and you don't want to go to wherever you're going, that's a really good indication to rethink what you're doing. Instagram real cut is done. Lauren found the best happy hour. I kind of want to gatekeep it, but we'll support $3 the business. $3.50. I'm sorry, is a what? Staple. They've been here since the 80s and they haven't like, I like that some of the decor has not changed. Yes. Since the 80s. It's um, authentic feel. <laughs> <laughs> Hello you guys, happy Sunday. I'm gonna go on a little walk to get my favorite breakfast sandwich. So let's start the Sunday off strong. Got some sunscreen on, I feel like you can see. It's kind of cloudy today, but it's to protect my skin.
So I've had this bookcase that I made <laughs> that is not super sturdy, but I've had it pushed up against my closet. I've been trying to get rid of it on Facebook Marketplace just for free, and I've had literally like thousands of people message me. I'm not even kidding, thousands. Um, but because it's free, people will just be like, oh yeah, I'll come get it, and then like, they don't. <laughs> Um, and I'm very upfront about the fact that I'm like, look, I made this thing. It's kind of wobbly. It's definitely not perfect. But if you want it, come and get it. But the real issue is it's a little too big to fit into most people's cars. And so it's in that weird spot of not really being worth paying to move it. Um, but I eventually was just like, oh, I'll figure it out later and stopped replying to people. I decided to put it out here for now though, because it has just made me so unorganized to not be able to go into my closet. And this is better motivation, like I'll get rid of it faster if I have to look at it every day, you know? Because I really don't need it there, but now I can get my closet more organized. It's looking really crazy right now, like this stuff, I just quickly took off the bookcase and we're gonna get it looking good. So yeah, let's do it. All right, my place is looking pretty clean. It's been several hours of cleaning, vacuuming, reorganizing my closet, everything. And I have some stuff I need to take to the Goodwill. So let's go get rid of stuff and then reward myself with lunch, maybe Mendocino Farms or something. Let's chat while I get ready. I spent like three or four hours this morning just cleaning, organizing, deep cleaning my room is so much better. I'm washing my sheets now, which I feel like is the best when at the end of the day you get into a bed with freshly made sheets and you shower. Like that is peak luxury in my opinion. But yeah, I'm getting ready now to go to live ball, which is a tennis class. They launched a new rooftop court. So they're doing like a free like live ball class at it. So I'm like, um, hell yeah, that sounds like the perfect little Sunday movement. Sounds so fun. So we'll just get ready for that. I did not yet go to the Goodwill, but we'll get there. I've been feeling kind of weird today. I think it's because, you know, it's Sunday and I had a fun weekend and Sam went back to Greenville yesterday. So now I'm just like, okay, tomorrow's Monday. And I think I need like, a mini dopamine detox as well because i've just been constantly consuming media podcast tiktok whatever i feel like uh just just a lot recently and also yesterday was just a lot of indulging i didn't vlog at all but basically me lauren and aaron went to brunch for like four hours and we had some drinks and like it was fun um but i feel like on friday too i'm just like okay alcohol detox for sure because that affects your dopamine baseline i'm sure so i don't feel like hungover or anything i just feel like today is not as fun as yesterday in comparison <laughs> you know like i think podcasts are actually quite useful most of the time but lately i've been like okay there's so many now podcasts and tiktoks i will listen to a podcast and then the next day there will be one contradicting what the other one said it's just like so many people now giving advice and whatever and i it just none of it feels serious anymore it just feels like noise a little bit so i'm in the mood to just listen to like a fun podcast like something that makes me laugh but I, no i actually just want to sit in silence <laughs> Okay, I know it's kind of random that I'm like doing my makeup and then going to tennis, but I find honestly like my makeup doesn't sweat off. I just got to the hotel that they have live ball at. I'm like kind of nervous because I'm like, is this live ball? It didn't say the level. So I'm like, is that ever gonna be really good? Shit. I really hope that it's just like chill, intermediate, normal, <laughs> but I guess we'll go find out. just finished playing at the live ball um, event. It was like 50 people or more maybe, like 50 to 70 people there. So they broke us up into groups. So we didn't actually play that much. It was more like, you know, talking, meeting people, playing a little bit. So I'm actually gonna go hit against a uh, hitting wall um because i want to play a little more but it was fun it was like kind of nerve-wracking though because like i've never played with people watching like that but i feel like i actually did pretty good on some of my turns back and I'm 
I'm so glad I cleaned a bunch today. It is like almost 6 p.m. I feel like I've been on my feet all day. So I walked to get food twice. I cleaned for like three hours and I was at that tennis event for a couple hours just on my feet. My feet freaking hurt. So I'm gonna go in the hot tub, but this is what I got for dinner. I'm gonna have breakfast for dinner because I had pancakes the other day and they were so good. So we're gonna have these. They are protein pancakes. I'm gonna put fresh strawberries on them and I'm so excited. I love breakfast food and I love breakfast for dinner. Okay, it's crazy this pancake mix is just add water. Like you don't even add an egg or anything. Kinda sketches me out, honestly, but whatever. There we go, cooking those bad boys up. I saw someone on TikTok added cinnamon to the batter and I forgot to do it until after, so I added a little on top. So let's see. I made some oddly shaped ones so that they would all stay warm. <laughs> Drops, of course, need the strawberries, a bunch of them. It didn't really cook all the way through and I cooked it for a while, so I don't know. You gotta make them thinner, but it's pretty good, you know, for, for a mix like that. Okay guys, I'm ending this vlog here. I have Invisalign in again. I know, I had like a few more trays that I have to finish. But I wanted to explain why I haven't been vlogging as much. I feel like I went from posting two or three times a week to like maybe once a week. It's just been harder to. And part of the reason for that is when Sam is here staying with me like he was for the last like ten, like couple weeks, I don't vlog as much then because it's just more difficult to and also my place ends up a little bit messier. Just naturally like two people in a pretty small space. I really don't have a lot of storage in here and so when he's here, it just ends up a little bit messier. And I just kind of am like, okay, I'm existing in the chaos a little bit and then I get it like perfectly back to normal. Normal. But I never want to vlog when it's like that. I just feel like oh I need to move stuff out of the background and then it ends up taking way too long So that's one thing and then another is just whenever I'm out and about like when I had people over to my place a lot of the time when I'm with friends who don't do YouTube, I don't want to like shove a camera in their face. So most weekends, I'm not really vlogging that much except for like Sunday, obviously, because I'm just spending time by myself mostly. But yeah, it, that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's when I'm with people who are not content creators. I just feel like it's kind of weird and uncomfortable to be like, oh, I'll vlog. But if I'm with other creators, it feels just a little more normal because I know they're cool with putting their life on the internet. But yeah, that's kind of that's kind of why. Um, I'll try and vlog more. I'm, I'm gonna make an effort to this week. I'm gonna be on it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.